Dude, what's up, man? How you doing? Bro, what's good? It's been a minute. Yeah, dude, it's good to see you. Yeah, likewise. I got my my good camera. I don't got my good camera, but this should be fine for what we're doing. I, I'm not I'm not worried about how pretty you look, man. We're just trying to get this stuff done. <laughs> hey, my name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to my channel. I run a multiple seven-figure agency, so make sure you subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> so I'm already trying to critique, like, um, yeah. So I love it. So, all right, let me pull up the, um, all right, give me one second. Okay. So first things first, like is the Facebook ad account all active and whatnot? Yes. We're running a little bit of ads on there. Um, I had some that got disabled and stuff, but this one is currently running and it's fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to freaking log into this shit. All right. Let me. And I got a question for you, bro. So do you only recommend Facebook for what we're talking about? Or no, do you think that's, yeah. So when you talked about TikTok, that's literally like how I would cross them. So when you run a lot of top of funnel Facebook traffic, you can also retarget people from the TikTok pixel as well. And then backwards as well. So Facebook, your cost per click might be 75 cents to $1.50, right? And Correct. then TikTok though, it's probably going to be under 50 cents. So if you're able to get two visitors for every Facebook one, then I would just literally allocate the retargeting budget on Facebook to all the people that are clicking from TikTok so that you're on a cross-platform basis. And then Google is a small budget. Like Google is only for your searches. So for example, right, people click my ads on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. I have one Google ad that runs at five bucks a day that literally just targets one word. Jason Wojo, that's it. So if people go to Google and search my name, there's going to be a thing on the top for them to go back and book their call. And that's the same thing that should be with you. So like once upon a brick would be in that keyword. And then I would do like a broad match, exact match, and then a variable match so that, you know, they can obviously, once they go to your site, whatever is more visible to them, because they might, I mean, odds are that they're just going to search once upon a brick or um, let me think, because every single property they might go look up like the property name as well. And we could do an exact match on that. So yeah, like, let me tell you, I'm going to show, show you a little, let me share my screen. Okay. Um, I gotta and, give you, I'm going to give you permission to share your screen. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to, so this is, I just want to show you this. So you kind of understand like how we're currently doing stuff. Um, do you have all the tracking set up and et cetera? Ah, uh, yes, I believe so. Um, we can check. I'm not really much of a, like an ads, you know, like I'm not, it's not really my specialty. <laughs> okay. Wait, yeah. Yeah. You have to click the campaign status from enable to all. Okay. Uh, but this is all the stuff that I just kind of like have, uh, messed around with dude like okay, so I, I scroll yeah scroll to the right because i need to see conversions but i'm pretty sure the conversions okay. are messed, messed so up. only this one yeah only that one's tracking so the first two are not so that's the first thing we gotta fix yeah let me just change it to all time yeah and then but here's the thing these conversions are messed up because it's tracking visitors i think as conversions oh shit dude that's not good all right. So we got to, I'll, I'll, I'll have my developer fix that. That's not a problem. But so the thing that I wanted to bring up to you is that you're running all this traffic through Shopify as well, which is cool. But the problem with this is that, dude, they don't have enough information to make a decision. You have to think about the LTV of the buyer. So, and, and you're saying your MRR is down. You're always losing money every month. And it's because of a couple of things. Number one is if you don't show them why the value is supposed to be an LTV based purchase, no shit, they're not going to stay because right here, you're giving them a low barrier to entry where it's like, Hey, you know what? Uh, what is it? Starting at 80 bucks a month, right? So, so our MRR is, is, is like 37,000 a month. And then our wow. expenses are 12. Um, so we net like, tw like 20,000 a month, like positive. So the thing is, I'm trying to increase that number. Like that's yeah, right. So the way that you increase that though is going to be through a lot of more one-time purchases. Because here's the thing, man: you can build a sales script and an SOP around selling the higher ticket thing, or you could just stick with eighty-dollar a month purchases, 
but your conversion rate shit. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is that I would personally run a quiz funnel, okay? And my quiz funnel would be in ClickFunnels where it would have a headline, answer a few questions to see what properties qualify for you and your, you know, um, you know, cash flow goals. They answer a couple of questions, then they go to a booked call. On that booked call, you're not pushing, hey, you know what, just pay for 80 bucks a month because that's not worth a sales rep's time. Because at, one, at some point, man, you could scale this out to the point where you have three to five sales reps taking God knows how many appointments a day, and they should be pushing the pay full price 1500 And if you pay full price, then you could be like, hey, listen, if you pay full price today, I can actually start you on a payment plan for a second property. So if you pay me the $1,500 a month right now, I'll eat the 80 bucks for the first month, but you start a second property. So now you're selling two properties on that sales call. Now your LTV is three grand instead of spending fucking God knows how much money making 80 bucks for a Shopify transaction. Makes no sense. Because at the end of the day, man, it's like you can run ads for low ticket, but is it really worth your time to try to figure out how to convert cold traffic people to enter an $80 subscription or you get them on the phone and you show them through a pitch deck and I can show you my example and I can show you a sales script where you can see like, hey, listen, you can, you know, this property, you pay 1500 bucks right now. This is how much it should be worth in the next six to 12 months. This is how much it'll be worth in 12 to 24 months. And the crazy part is, is that if you buy two properties today, it'll be 2,500 bucks and you bundle and you play that game. And then that's you're, a great and idea. And then yeah, you're selling like high ticket. Like, dude, I would never do an $80 a month thing. Like, cause here's the thing. If I'm selling this dude, I'm just looking to get as many one-time people, but as long as I get them started on a second property, because here's the, here's the difference right now. You're saying 80 bucks a month, right? And God, does it take them so fucking long to pay? Or I say to them, Hey, listen, you pay 1500 bucks today. Technically it's 1580, but that 80 bucks is for the second property to start. So now you own this full property, you get your title, you own this shit. And now we start you on this next one. Like, dude, that's such a good offer. Now you're selling wow. properties. They are in a payment plan for the second one. And then for the next fucking six months in a row, you're sending out emails, new property, new property. $64 a month, new property, $47 a month, new property, whatever the fuck it is a month. Like then you're just selling them more shit to the point where if they reply to the email, you could just automatically charge their card and you could start getting them paid for a new property or get them a contract for the property. I, I love that idea. That's actually something we could immediately implement. Um, so here's another thing. So this is, uh, so we use Shopify for like all the, the, just the front end, dude. It's just how I got started in this business. Uh -huh. And like, we have, it's, it's, it's just very hard to migrate currently. Um, so like what we do is like, when they click buy now, they go to uh, Outpage, which is, they get to pick between own for two ninety nine a month or pay 6,000. So I'm just gonna show you both. There has been many times where people just go straight to the website submit their payment for the six grand and we touch we it's kind of crazy like that's our best customers our best customers do not need hand holding so um so basically this is how it goes so this is moon clerk this is where yeah I, I i i know what this is yeah yeah moon clerk and these are all of our active plans um and so all of our plans like right here so when someone signs up on the website like see this is our, our sales guy yesterday he crushed it like we got three sales two sales the day before so um yeah these are all of our different subscriptions dude that that's great and payments and sometimes of course like we have people who you know these are defaults a lot of people like that payments don't go through yeah, no, I, I have that in my own business. I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. But I mean, but I mean, the thing is, we always try to keep adding new people. So even with our churn, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm telling you, like, like, I mean, everyone says that about their business, but we're really onto something special here because if you go on Landwatch, where we pay fifteen hundred dollars a month, uh -huh. like, we're I would say. There's like three, maybe two to three other companies who offer the great, like, I think we just have a great offer, period, which is why we even got here without doing, I mean, we did a lot of like marketing, but not like actual paid, 
Like I did TikTok, we acquired a bunch of customers that way organically. Um, well, and- that's the thing too, is that with the TikTok ads, we can run spark posts on your videos. Wow. So yeah. With TikTok, you can actually take a video and run it as an ad and it builds engagement and gets you followers as well. Like, dude, we have clients spending $200 a day, $300 a day, getting like 500 to 1,000 followers a day extra on TikTok because they're using their engaging post as the ad. Yeah, and I used to just boost my post every day. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a waste of money though. You want to use it for, why would you boost the post just to get followers? You should be running it to drive traffic. That's what we did. We boosted no, it. No, but TikTok, that's a conversion campaign. You're just running a boost post. They're not looking for ideal buyers. They're just looking for people who are fucking 13-year-old kids who are going to follow you. Like, they're not going to buy a piece of land. Okay. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm, I'm open to um, whatever ideas you have. And all of our leads, when someone go through our website and they text this number, it goes into follow-up bus. And... Yeah. This has been amazing for us because all of our, it's like a CRM basic thing. And you can see, um, you know, they just text us and the team basically follows up with them. Okay. I like that. Uh, so it's pretty fire. Like this is Mike. So Mike, yeah, this guy, dude, he's a, he's, he's pretty much like a seasoned sales dude. He crushes it. Um, and yeah. You know, even our commission structure is he gets the he gets the first month down payment, um, and then he gets five percent. Okay. Of the of residual, as long as the customer keeps paying, um, so he's been doing really well with this. So right now, all I need is to get him a ton of leads, and you know, so today we got eight leads through the website. You know. Dude, that's uh, not going to be hard with ads, bro. <laughs> say that again? So it's not going to be hard with ads. Like, I know this offer is going to work. It's not hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped because, like, last time I worked with you on the Facebook stuff uh, for the clothing brand, dude, getting into this business, is it was a complete game changer because, like, that was a struggle. That business, like, clothing is really tough because we were selling $10 yeah. t-shirts. It is. I, I already have a couple clothing brands that we work with and it is tough. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not the easiest thing, man. This business is, it's, it's very profitable. Like each customer we acquire over the lifetime of it, if they continue, we're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Um, so I, I love this business. It's just, we, we need to, like, I can't rely on going viral on TikTok. Like I've had our website crash, but from the amount of traffic but the thing is we can't rely on that we need to have um we got to have it be consistent you know so yeah okay so do you so you want to do so are we going to do facebook tiktok and google um so for the google yes yeah we could do all three but i just I want to set up the funnel first so whatever kind of software that you have like click funnels or whatever we'll need you to get that TikTok. Um, I, I don't have click funnels, uh, but do you, is, dude, are you sure, like, aren't there, like, some more modern funnel software than click funnels? Like, what there's, like, this. More, what do you mean more modern? What is that supposed to mean? I feel like there's a lot of overwhelm with, like, marketing, uh, like, click funnels, because every, well, oh, like, okay, if you have your sales rep, then get go high level. Because that's going to be better. Say that again? Go high level. That's like a CRM with Legion that fucking crushes. Because then he has more like control over the leads than using ClickFunnels. And uh, and what was that you just said? Like what was the software? Go high level. G-O high level. And it's the same price as ClickFunnels. And it's basically like a high level like it's just like a high level CRM plus funnels plus triggers automations. Like there's a lot of shit. We're already using follow up boss. So do you say we use this for our ads or yes. how would- for the landing page? Yes. Hey, my name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to my channel. I run a multiple seven figure agency for the past four years. I've helped generate me and my clients over $75 million and I've been featured in Entrepreneur Magazine and New York Weekly's 30 